Today's daily Bible thought goes along with the theme that we've had for this week about defining moments. And just like the other days, we talked about how um, an individual's defining moment in any given moment is based on background decisions and past decisions that that person has made. And so whatever's in that person is present at the moment they have to make this decision or choice. And all week we've done defining moments that have been really positive. They've ended on a good note because the person made a good choice, the right choice at that moment. Well, today's, and I realized should have maybe had more this week, there's a lot of stories in the Bible about people who made the wrong choice, who didn't do what they could have done to follow God. And so today's defining moment is like that. And I'm going to start out, it's from the Gospel of Mark, and if you've never read the Gospel of Mark, it's a different kind of Gospel, I feel like, because it's shorter, it's very to the point, the key word in the Gospel of Mark is immediately, and so if you want it fast, then read Mark, and you'll get the main stories, and you'll get the information you need, but quickly. So this is from Mark chapter 10, verse 17. This is how the conversation starts between Jesus and a young man who was very rich. As Jesus was starting out on his way to Jerusalem, a man came running up to him, knelt down, and asked, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Sounds like a great conversation starter. And it sounds good, right? It sounds really positive. The guy's like wanting to know, what do I need to do to inherit eternal life? Now, the important word to remember in this sentence, this question, is the word I. God personalizes everything. When Jesus encountered each individual person, he didn't do the same thing. He didn't say the same thing every time. He customized it because he knows us. He knows a man's, woman's, person's heart. And so he knew what was in this young man, and he knew exactly what this guy needed. And we're going to hear about it. The next couple of verses go back and forth, you know, the, you know Jesus says, hey, you need to follow the commandments. And, and the, the guy's like, I've done it all my life. I've been following the commandments. I've done everything. I've done everything right. Okay, so here are the next verse. This is Jesus' response. Verse 21, looking at the man, Jesus felt genuine love for him. I'm going to stop there for a second. What Jesus is going to say to this guy seems hard and then the guy's response you're going to hear it and it's and it's hard but we got to remember it's because Jesus genuinely loves this man and wants what is best for him so looking at the man Jesus felt genuine love for him there is still one thing you haven't done he told him go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven then come follow me Okay, it's a good word. It is a good word. Now, do we need to sell all our possessions? I don't know. Maybe if we did, there wouldn't be any more poor. But I don't think the point is that. I think the point is this man had had his treasures someplace else. And we're going to find out with his response in verse 22. At this, the man's face fell. Now, it didn't fall off his body and fall on the ground, but you know what it's saying. His face didn't look so good. The man's face fell and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Now the verse says that he he had the possessions, but the reality is, and Jesus knew this, the possessions owned him. That is what he had put his love and treasure in all his life up to this point. He loved his wealth and he loved it so much that he loved it more that he loved Jesus. He didn't want to follow Jesus at that cost. So what's getting in your way? Is there something holding you back? Something that you hold on to more than you want to hold on to Christ? Really look at that today and think about it and remember that Jesus has genuine love for you and what he asks of you he asks because he knows it's, he knows it's what is best for you and what you really need to be able to have treasure in heaven. So have a great day.